Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Railway Empire. Today, we are going to be looking at the Northern Europe DLC. <clears throat> so here we are in Northern Europe. I believe this includes uh, Sweden, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, or just Sweden and Finland. I can't remember which two. But it is those two big town or big uh, countries up there. So let's go ahead and get started. And we are going to be starting out in. What is our capital city? Holy smoke. So starting out in Hol Holding. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we what the kind of factories we got here today. So we can start off with building a sausage maker, weaving factory, tailoring bakery, dairy farms. We can't build that yet, but. Uh, to note that there is a dairy right here. I'm kind of looking for thinking that this the sausage factory might be a good idea. You guys have the uh, the sausage here, so I might just do that. Run the sausage there. Uh, yeah. Gotta find. Another commodity that would uh, help construct something here. Ideally, I would probably want to wait for the dairy to uh, pop up, but I don't think we're going to have that kind of time. But because uh, it will take a while for us to build up enough to get to the uh, the bakery here. So I think or the uh, the dairy farm. I should say. Sorry, we could do a weaving factory. I don't see anything there, but let's go with a bakery. Let's go with a bakery. Let's just put the bakery in. Okay, so now we got to do a, put in our train. Let's go with a large train station. We will run it to run it the first line south to it's Flasburg down there. Flensborg. Okay. What's that? In like so. Now we're going to have to uh, go around the dairy farm because if we go right through it, it's going to not allow us to. We're going to have to go right past it very carefully. Put that there. And let us just make sure that there is no unnecessary bridges or tunnels. I know you guys heard me say this before many times, but it's always important to double check that because like I said, sometimes a bridge can cost you can be the difference of uh, the price going from a hundred thousand to a million. So very important that you don't waste money on unnecessary bridges. Let's face it, no one likes to, uh, no one likes to waste money, so. Don't do it, guys, don't do it. Don't waste your money. All right. Set up a supply tower right in the middle here. That should go over there. Let's get that settled. I do want a detonator, but I'm not going to pay a uh, high price for it. Alright, so now we all want to get our sausage factory down there supplied. So let us do up a small train station. Get that going. And I will double check to make sure there's no unnecessary bridges or tunnels. And there isn't. So we'll build. Uh, 
on our passing lanes to get our freight train back and forth. That. I don't think we're going to worry about uh, eating this off or anything. So, not yet. Let's just go ahead and run the train sausages. Got set up. So, now we want to supply the bakery with wheat. Seems the closest wheat field is down here. That's the closest one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do get that going. Let's go ahead and do a small train station to get that going. Unfortunately, this is going to be one of those things where it's going to be an expensive thing to do, to build. Uh, let's go do this. Not as expensive as I thought it would be, but it is pretty expensive. In fact, we're actually going to run parallel track. Uh, Now the other method to do this would probably be to do a warehouse. Like I said, you could run a warehouse in that area. The supply tower here. Put a, a warehouse here and then connect everything together that way, but. Alright. Well, that will get us started. Now we do now we could go ahead and add on to on to it again. Um thinking for that we'll probably just do a regular train station. I don't think we'll need uh A new station? Well, good luck with it. Um. All right, get that going. Passengers and mail from there. Just to give us a little, little currency. A fruit down here too. 
And I believe these are turnips or something. All right, so now the other expansion we can do for our Clearly trying to grow. It'd be this. Up the timber train. We'll run that to all three cities. in pop them in Put our supply tower here now this place to hence that'll set that up Here. And once those are set up, those trains will get going. So the one thing about these, t uh, the different commodity locations, if you click on them, it'll show you how much they have. Right now, they are sitting at 7 out of 26 possible spots. Every month, they will produce 3.5. Oh. But, basically, by the time these trains get back, they should have enough to fill the train. And each train can only carry 8 cars. That's the maximum they can house. So... Hopefully, when you're where you're, you're setting up your trains, uh, try and space them out. That way, the next train can keep come back and get a full load. Come back with a full load because they'll come back to this location empty. So you're only paying getting paid for a one way trip, basically. But you also need the the, the logs to you know to build stuff and. And for the uh, the community, your your town to actually grow. There is madness to everything. I'm thinking. That my next expansion might be to. Our hoose. I could probably do a tail or a texture. My one complaint, though, is it doesn't tell, when you click on the commodities, it doesn't tell you what they are, which, uh, I wouldn't mind if they actually did tell us that, because then it would make life easier. Alright, so... Whatever it is, there's no demand for it yet. Doesn't look like it might be. All right, so Let's go ahead and expand again. Why not? Kind of the most fun part about the 
figuring out how train networks work and getting them all set up. Do keep in mind as you're building that uh, each train, the most you're probably going to get out of each train right now with the early stages of this particular uh, the setup we have right now is about 15,000. Just something to keep in mind because the further distance from place to place, the longer it's going to take for you to actually start turning a profit. So on a long track like this, we actually want to run as many trains as possible without jamming it up. All right, so we're going to put a supply tower approximately right in the middle of it. I think you guys heard me say this before, but uh, the, the supply towers you put in on the lines also count as a set of signals. They have the signals built into them. Which is kind of handy for... That'll set up that, uh... Just so that we're not leaving it out, we want to go up. Up. Now, the other thing we could possibly do at some other point is reach off this and run it straight up to this facility. That way we avoid uh, we bypass holding for that line, but. What uh, factory? We got a weaving factory in there. Now we need to we need to supply it with weaving with the uh, this. Or we should, anyways. We don't necessarily have to, but we should. So let us actually let's wait for. Some money first, and then we'll we'll do that. Um, what else do we have? One thing I have to do is expand across this way too. And that might be where I put my uh, the warehouse. Just might be. All right, so. What do we got here? Go ahead and pop that supply or that. Uh... Look, one of your trains has broken down. Oh, yeah. 
Stuff that. Go ahead and run that into. Arthas here. Fly tower there. Now we need to set this here. Well, that'll take a while for it to actually. Let's copy that train because, like I said, it'll also take. A... It'll take a while for it to come all the way around to here. So. That's another one we could bypass later too. Break off here and then we're gonna break down. Won't worry about that till much later. All right, so I think that's what's gonna do it for episode one today, guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy uh, Northern Europe and I hope you guys try it out. It is on sale currently as i record this on steam uh the dlc cost me approximately five dollars so that's five dollars canadian so anyways guys thank you for joining me i hope you guys enjoy i hope this uh interests you in railway empire until next time guys stay safe